Hello and welcome to Hazard Identification, Assessment and Control. Now, you may be asking yourself, why do I have to take this course? It may be simply because you have to in order to get or keep a job, but regardless of the reason that brought you here, the next few minutes may be the most important minutes of the rest of your life. In fact, the information you're about to hear may be the difference between being able to play your favorite sport and hug your loved ones, or ending up in a wheelchair without one or more of your limbs, or possibly even dead. Disabling injuries have ruined far too many lives. Do you really think that it can't happen to you? This course is designed to help prevent you from becoming an injury statistic. Now, if you think that the information you're about to learn is no big deal, and that I'm just trying to scare you, think about what your life would be like without being able to drive a car or even walk. Too many people have been injured or killed by a workplace incident that could have been avoided if someone had done a proper hazard assessment. This course will teach you how to do just that. Don't let the next injury statistic be you or someone you know. Well, hopefully I have your attention now. The idea isn't to scare you, but to tell you straight up what's at stake. The goal of this course is to not only help keep you safe on the job by showing you how to prevent injuries and illness in the workplace, but also to reduce human pain and suffering, reduce other types of loss such as damage to equipment, and to improve productivity by reducing downtime and improving morale by making the workplace a better place to be. There is a fair bit of information to cover, so we're going to divide the course material into six sections. Each section will cover a distinct aspect of hazard identification, assessment, and control. Section 1 will make you aware of your own beliefs regarding workplace safety. Section 2 describes different types of hazards. Section 3 outlines legislative requirements. Section 4 explains how to identify hazards. Section 5 provides instructions on how to assess risk. And Section 6 describes various controls that can be used once hazards have been identified. After completing this course, you should be able to explain legal requirements for identifying, assessing, and controlling hazards in your work environment, list different types of work-related hazards, follow a logical process to identify hazards, prioritize hazards in terms of the risk they pose to workers, describe control measures that can be used to deal with identified hazards, and explain practical controls that can be applied to your workplace. Before we jump into the course material, I need you to take a few minutes to complete a short quiz. But don't worry, it doesn't count towards your final mark. It's just a quick check to see what you know or don't know.